Thank you so much for joining me as gamers. We're back in subsistence and a brand new update that just came out, which is uh, base armor upgrades and new hunter bases. Let's get through it really quick. Uh, since his last update, he mentioned that uh, the hunter's squad's been attacking players' bases. Uh, players reporting a greater need for base protection, and I think he's listened to us quite nicely again. Uh, this is really cool. Upgraded can now be using... Uh, you can upgrade... Can now be used with a hammer that requires metal alloy sheets. Alloy sheets can now be crafted in the workbench. Let's go and check that out. Those new sounds too, you hear them? Oh yeah. It's also a part of the update. Yeah, really awesome. I mean, he's done a great job. Uh, again, bringing up something completely different that I was not expecting. Uh, I knew it was a base defense, but I did not, wasn't aware how he's going to do that. I have some alloy going here. Some, uh, sorry, zinc. Because uh, that is going to be needed. I'm going to shut you off. There we go. I'll just dump some biofuel that I took out of the fire before. Here we go. Awesome. All right, let's go check this out. The floor looks a little different. I don't know what it is. It's just me or... It must be just me. All right, let's go check this out here. What do we need for alloy sheets? Alloy sheets will take two scrap metal, four iron fragments, and two zinc. And, of course, he's asking whether or not that's a good balance. That seems to be pretty decent. I mean, I don't see any rationale if for it not to be decent. It looks a little different, the texturing on the walls. I don't know, it looks like it's almost broken, but it's not. It must be me. All right, yeah. So let's go through this here. Uh, armor upgrade a base structure have uh, nearly three times the hit points of wooden and che uh, and are cheaper to maintain. Please let me know, as he's mentioned, if uh, the cost of maintenance and upgrades is off balance. So again, he's always asking if you guys can go into forums and get involved in there and also in the comment fields here and make sure he's aware whether or not you find this is well balanced or not. Uh, always looking for people's advice and how they're doing. So if you're always curious, Cold Games has his ears open. Doesn't mean he's going to follow what you're saying, but he's definitely listening. Uh, this is only the beginning, as he mentions, of uh, progression. Uh, he has planned uh, for the hunters. He also is aware the hunters and animals interactions are needed and are and is high on his list for upcoming features. And again, as I mentioned to you guys, that was something he was working on for a long period. And it's not easy as it looks, and there's a lot of coding. And again, he was working on this non-stop to get this out. So very, very nice uh, job from Cold Games. And there's some more stuff here as he gets here. This is uh, something he's going to have to work on throughout the whole thing. So now he's also worked on the actual new hunter bases, which is a larger, uh, a new and larger hunter base has been introduced. Also, hunter's uh, base size, uh, sorry, size have uh, staggered, which are, e sorry, early game, early game, uh, will build a small base and later game hunters uh, build larger. So that's really cool. Yeah, man, my, I've been up streaming and I've been up all night. I just a crate over there. We can talk while we do this. I see an ammo crate. Sorry, guys, I have to go for it. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I've been up streaming and I literally got maybe a couple hours sleep and I realized he put up an update. So up early in the morning recording this. So please be patient with my mouth not working with my brain. If you guys miss it, you should probably go back and check out that cool new game, Narcosis. Um, all right, so fixed. He's also fixed a BCU bug, uh, which was caused by base items uh, going missing. So yes, that's also. He's also thanking uh, Zul, sorry Zulika, uh, for helping him out. So that's very cool. Thank you for helping out Cold Games and helping out the community. Just a you know, hats off to people who are taking their time and getting a forum and saying him files that he needs to repair them. And so you can see the hunters are there. I don't see any change in the base. I think that'll happen in the next couple of uh, sleeps. You can see our base is growing too. Just get myself out of here so make sure I'm not distracted and getting chewed to death by a wolf or something. All right. Uh, he's also added a refinery, uh, added refineries to smaller hunter bases, so no more, uh, so more loot for when raiding them. So that's awesome. I like that. I like that idea. Hunters will now build solar panels on their bases. I hope we can take them apart. Um, I, like I mentioned that before, Cole Games. I know you, you're aware of it. I, I'm going to keep on mentioning it because I think it's something important. We should be able to take apart the hunter base, 100% uh, dismantling, getting half the resources, whatever it is. And I do think that we should be able to take apart everything. Uh, hunters, uh, was it? Oh, sorry, hunters will now be uh, will build solar panels. We were mentioned that. Sorry, reduce chances of nighttime raids on hunter bases. Like I mentioned, to you guys, he was aware of it. He didn't like it. He he fixed that up. Fix bug uh, where crafted items when stack in a workbench. Oh, that's that is beautiful. Actually, we should start that up because it's going to take a little bit. I want to get this done. One second here. Let's get that going. I'm going to take you and you. And we'll take a stack of you. 
And we're gonna need a hammer too. Where's my hammer? Where is my hammer? How you doing? All right. We we'll start a new up right away. Let's see how this works for stacking. Um, I'm gonna pretty much wipe that out clean. I'm gonna get started for this. We'll see what we can build with all this. This is obviously a lot. Uh, fixed bug when crafting. Uh, okay, that's it. So the actual stack. Uh, fixed bug where refineries, lasers wouldn't stay active. Uh, sorry, would stay active when one of the processes was over. So that's good. That's the ore process was done. It would stay active. We've brought that up. Fixed bug where the rogue hunters were attacking players' bases unprovoked, which we've we we saw. And he mentioned he didn't uh, think that was going to happen. Let's see the stack up here. I'm, I'm curious to see if it's going to stack up into one, which is something I really was looking forward to to see. Uh, fixed bug where rogue hunters, sorry, attacking. We just did that. Health kits now require one cloth to craft. Whoa. Hmm. I don't know, Cole Games. But again, there is material on here. Yeah, I guess that makes sense for me. Because you're going to have this. Uh, you need material to actually create that. Yeah, okay. Well, it makes sense. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. It is stacking, by the way. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right. So uh, that that's actually going to be interesting. We'll see how it goes. It's going to make it definitely difficult to get more cloth. It'll make it... Actually, well, we have to hunt. So that's all we have to do. We'll have to hunt more. In hardcore mode, that's going to kill me. That's going to kill me. Reduce uh, noticeable texture linings in wood in base walls. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> that's the reason why. I didn't see that one. Fix bugs where domesticated animals wouldn't re-enter the animal housing. That was a problem. I think Gary and other people have mentioned that to me. Uh, and I've seen it too. Uh, animals, sorry, added new footstep sounds on metal surfaces, which we'll test out a bit. Uh, added new impact sounds for hitting uh, ground and metal surfaces, which is obvious that's something we're going to need. Uh, he's also added slightly warmer tones for daylight color palette. I, it is actually a little warmer. I, I, feel, I feel it. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yeah, it, it's, it was a little light before. I found it a little bit too light on some parts. Maybe uh, maybe a little more is always helpful. Take you. Actually, I think I'm going to need... Yeah. That's going to be a big problem. One second there. Let's switch you out. It's good we have some of you. Uh, oh, the laser stays on. Uh, that's still a problem. Oh, it's, hey, it's, like I said, early access. He's working hard. Um, uh, added slightly warm tones. Okay. And repair the wood, uh, repairs to wooden structures now heal more than 75%. Uh, sorry, heals more, hit more hit points. 75 rather than 50. So that's, that's good, actually, when we're taking about meaning less resources will be required for main base repair. No, uh, new sounds for players landing on uh, falls and jumps. See, that's awesome. Fix broken LOD and wood doorway, which would show incorrect textures and viewed. Okay, I didn't see that range. Maybe it's when we walked into the door, we'd see like a weird texture. Uh, new sounds, sorry, we did that. Uh, tighten up aim on a rifle. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can tell a difference, but maybe fix the rifle the way we're shooting? I don't know. I know he needs to fix it for the length to the distance. That's something he's got to work on. I'm not sure if he did that. Uh, reduce time to uh, disassemble base items. That's awesome. I, I like that. It does take too long for me. All right, let's grab our sheets of this. Do I need to put this? Wait, no, I just need metal. So here we go. Metal in my inventory. Um, should we go? Can we do this door? How does this work? I don't think the doors work. Okay, so this works only here. Okay, upgrade to hold to use. Are we gonna hold ease at it? Hold use. Oh F. I keep on pressing E. Actually, wait, do I want to do it here or do I want to do it over there? Let's check in a corner piece. Let's let's see what this looks like. I want to do it on my walls as protection. Ooh, damn. Can we do it on the floor too? Ooh, doggy. Ooh, nice. 
Ooh, I'm liking this so far. Let's see what a window looks like. And the crawl down, back down, get just where we have to go. So yeah, I, what do you guys think? The update's pretty good. I think uh, I think it's again, Cold Game is kicking some butt. A sole developer. Well, it takes three sheets. Holy shit, that's a lot. Okay, I was happy with how much it was coming out. I do like the new sounds, but the Cold Games is very good. Oh damn, that's nice. Expensive as shit, but then again, you don't want it too cheap. This is a major upgrade. You don't have a massive base like mine, then you would have no problems putting together something super strong with this. Uh, definitely early on, not worth it, but definitely cool. I'm liking that a lot, actually. Let's make a couple more sheets here. I want to see what it looks like complete. I'm not sure I would put my base in that tone. I think it's it looks a little weird. I'll be honest with you. I don't I don't see that happening. Um, yeah, we're, we're out of metal. That's that's good because I don't want to waste too much of my iron, which already I've wasted a whole lot of it. We'll keep that going for the rest of the day. On the other side, we'll keep this over here. We we'll need to get more of that. Obviously, now it becomes even more imperative to get more stuff. And uh, definitely the ores are going to be something. Thankfully, I have a lot of zinc. I'm going to need to get find that iron uh, badly. Real badly. That is going to be a big issue. Thinking, should I get a lock pick in case we can make it today's loss? I think we should. I think we should actually. You know what? Let's let's just do it. Split one. What is it for lockpick? I know I probably shouldn't. Oh wait, 18. Uh, it's gonna hurt. I'm just gonna do it. Just, do it. just take a risk. We gotta take a risk. Cause that's part of life. It's uh, it's not something that we, you know, we should hold back from just because we have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Missing. We have our solar panels running up the stairs. Which is plenty of stuff. We're going to put away all the stuff we have on us. Uh, which is quite a bit, actually. More than I expected. Uh, you two. Put this away. And right now we're still crafting up those things. So yeah, the update. Awesome. I'm going to give uh, two thumbs up on it. I do think Cold Games is on the right track again, as usual. Getting us where we need. And, uh... Mix up berry. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to eat both of you. And we're going to get the protein we need. Catch. That is great. We'll make those two cordages right here and we'll get rid of the wood. Uh, what else I have here on me? So, crafting, let's see this out here. Let's just check this out. So, I need one cloth for that every time now. That's, that's costly as shit, though. Especially early on or playing hardcore mode, that's very hard to do. But again, you can hunt. I mean, we have the arrows, right? That makes a struggle there. I'm, I'm going to say cool, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to test it out, but I think it's cool. I definitely like the textures on the floor here. A lot nicer. Cool games. All right, let's just do a little more and get our asses out of here. Uh, very helpful. I don't destroy the base. How about if we actually make the base? All right, how much do we need for each one of these? Uh, they might attack from mostly this side, so this is what it takes up three. Here, seven, it has three needed. All right, and the floor takes what? Four, so pretty much that's it. We've just seven of them for a whole one side. Interesting. Definitely not hating it. I'm, oh, I like the sounds. Why did it sound like something was coming? Is it this sound that's throwing me off? Oh, yeah, it's like, ah. What is that sound? That was weird. It sounded like something was near me. All right, oh, we'll accept it. It's all good. I'm thinking this is actually very cool. I'm going to go and be happy about it. Let's go and get some loot here. We need to get some. So, yeah, guys, getting Cold Fields. Tell me how you guys feel getting the, also the Cold Fields in Steam and tell Cold Games how much of a good job he did. I think I'll say, yeah, kudos, because usually updates I see from other developers are okay and they take a long time you'll see this after two three months this guy's pulling them out within two 
two weeks, uh, if not a week or two sometimes, and he's pulling up major updates for what I'm thinking. It's just uh, listening to the community and giving us exactly what we've hoped for, and some even better, actually. I think that's... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking it. All right, let's get it going. Let's go and check around. This is normal mode, a whole lot easier. Running is easy to do compared to many others. Here's Supper walking by. Look at this in hardcore mode. That chicken would have just seen me like 15 miles away and gone. You've been gone. Oh, you just moved to the right time, you little shit. I should have moved to the right when I did that. He was walking. He was walking. All right, let's see where we're at here. Where the f are you? Oh, there you are. How you doing? How you doing? Oh boy. I can hear the growls. Oh <laughs> God. Let's move yourself up here. My, f ooh, chicken, chicken. You're trying to shoot an arrow when a chicken's running. He seems to be able to deke you out. Kind of irritating. It's like he has eyes behind his back. Definitely challenging. You can run. You don't have to use arrows for chickens. You can run, but again, using stamina like you wouldn't believe. So it's not really worth it from my standpoint. I'd rather just hit him up with an arrow and take it up. But again, you're also using resources for your nails for the thing. And in the future, I'm hoping that we'll just convert to something else. Where we have to craft up our own iron or give us a chance to make it with rock if we want to. That'd be pretty cool. Did that give me... That give me six. I was talking too much. I guess I didn't realize there was six out. All right, cool. I thought there was four out there. I thought he changed on us. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Yeah, we're low on shotgun ammo. But I'll load up what we found. We do have... Some stuff. Not a whole lot. We should be okay. So definitely the ores are going to be a priority for us. If we can find iron like here. I need to work on that big time. Just to get the base up to par. Priority number one. Iron. Priority number two. Ammo. Because we have to go and attack that base down there. Now I'm wondering if. I'm Well I'm, I'm figuring since we can find that inside the hunter base. Grace we're going to find sheets of. Inside their crates. If that's not going to be that, they're going to be able to build with it too. And that means three times the amount of strength. I wonder that's going to be, how hard that's going to be to break in. That's going to be impossible. And dismantling it. Hopefully dismantling it will also give us the half portion. I'm hoping that's going to be something. Man, cold games are pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. That and I'm actually finding iron right now. And that that's really makes it fair. As long as I can find it around the world, uh, I have zero problems with it. But if, when you can't find any of the resources and you need them for that resource, I don't mind the struggle, but to a certain point where you're like, come on. The game's got to give, not just take. And he's done that. He's always rebalanced things up. That's, that's really good. All right, let's get down here. There's our mammoth base. We'll check out this rock over here and see if there's anything around. Hopefully we can find a couple of items, but I think this update falls in the category of hell yeah. Awesome sink. I need that later on. We don't need it right now, but I'm sure later on we're going to need it, so I'm going to take it. The iron, though, that's that's a hard thing. Iron is so important. Hey, rabbit, how you doing? Oh, you got yourself a friend over there. You got yourself two little friends. All right. Make myself a way around here and see if there's anything. I'm going to check out the hunter bases too and see if there's any other changes up close. I know we can't get too close now because if we irritate them. I don't know if the trespassing said he fixed it, but still. I didn't really mind it as much as you think. I think that the only thing that bothered me was rogues, the way they reacted, but it didn't really bother me much. See if they're building anything new. Not as of yet. Oh, there's one there. Just staring at us. 
I'm going to check out our hunter base over here and see if he's done anything overnight. I doubt they had a chance to do it. We'll keep our eye on him. We'll check it out and see what's going on. And I'll most likely be streaming this tonight. So we'll see. I'll be doing hopefully some live stream tonight. I did yesterday too. If you want to check it out, really cool shit. Anger management. I don't want to waste any bullets from there. Not at all. And we still haven't found a lock crate. I left. Oh shit! I left the lock pick. What? Who is it? Oh shit! There we go. Oh damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Caught me off guard, little shit. Where my car view? There we go. Cut you open. Beautiful. Take it. I could just hear him running. I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, I was so sidetracked with everything that's going on here, too. Plus, plus you know, lack of sleep. Lately. Especially yesterday. <laughs> I'll go back that way, anyways. I was going to check to see here. If we have any changes to their base... I'd be careful because they do come out pretty far. There's a wolf. And there's our base. No changes as of yet. We'll keep our eye on the progression. See what happens. I can't wait to see them grow. Uh, hopefully that means, like I said, more loot as you get bigger. Would be imperative because if they have more stuff, then they probably are keeping more stuff and they're getting more comfortable and settling in. And then attacking them would be worthwhile. That's the next, next step is to go and attack the guys. Again, down here and take them out cold. That's why we've been trying to keep the ammo of the SVT and uh, avoiding any kind of conflicts. I'm just going to go grab the lockpick really quick. Same time, we'll drop the uh, iron that we found in case it's almost at the end. It's not close to it. All right, well, it is what it is. And that's helpful. Extremely. There we go. Eat all. Where's the eggs? There we are. We'll get our proteins up too. Since we have all this stuff. Ah, fill myself up. Make yourself healthy in case we get attacked or something. Now there's supposed to be have random attacks too, and that's the thing I can't wait to see. Oops, it's random attacks. I'm also trying to jump around and test out the sounds. Enjoying it. I like new things. I like new toys. Thankfully, we didn't find a lock crate before, but damn, am I hardcore mode? I think someone counted as four of them. Just one, two, three, four, and I didn't have a lock pick, and it was just killing me. Couldn't find a crate for anything, but bam, just lock crates were everywhere. And here, so far, a drought. Is that a crate or is that a wolf up there? Man, the lighting in this game is absolutely beautiful. That is a crate. I am holding a gun that's empty. That's that's not helpful. All right, that's good. That's good. That's something. Make our way back around here really quick, and hopefully we'll find just a little more stock. I'd love to find a lock crate right before the end and give us a little boost that we need if not I'm sure we'll be able to use it next episode we'll find it sooner or later usually in late day something pops up and we are falling in that category right now very late yeah sunset's on its way I should be hunting rabbits and stuff but right now I'm looking for the hunt that lock crate more than anything else oh I think I Oh, that's a wolf. I was like, that's a lock. No, it's a walk-in lock crate. It's a wolf. That doesn't work at all, does it? Wow. It was like camouflage in there. All right, some water, berries. Nothing bad. I would kill for that right now in hardcore mode. I would be dying for this right now. One-tenth of what we're getting here. One one-hundredth of what we're getting. I would be happy with it. 
come on, come on, come on. Wolf next to us. Come on, give me a lock crate, baby. Come on, Cole Games, stop teasing. Give us a lock crate. Oh, some copper. We'll take you. Always like to run a gun just to make sure in case I need to pull it out. All right, we need to make our way back. It's it's getting dark. I don't want to be caught in dark trying to run through a gauntlet of animals. Unless I see a lock crate down there, I'm going to have to turn myself around and head back. You know, if I see some fibers and stuff, that's not good enough to risk it. We're going to head back and check out our base at night. And hopefully everything is all good to go and we're not going to be attacked at the current time. We'll have time to upgrade. And we also have a tons of nails and wood. So next episode, we'll be building also. And I'll get that ready overnight for the build. We'll check out our buddies over here. Looks like they've got their base up and running. Still, it's still the same size, I think. It looks the same size. I can't wait to see what it looks like when they actually upgrade. Ah, oh, shit. I was hoping for a double rabbit. Double the fun. Oh, man, that's going to be hard to find. If what we really need is flashlights. That's something Cole Games is going to have to work on. I believe. I think we all do. All right, that's enough of that. We'll take the loss of the arrow. Oh, I'm rushing and I'm regretting it now. Anyways, so be it. Let's get our asses out of here. It is getting arduously dark. And uh, we'll leave the night here. We're gonna, as soon as we get in the base, that's it for it. We're going to leave the night. We'll count our blessings that we've able to build all this. So, yeah, very cool. So, thank you so much for being here again, guys. I really do appreciate all of your support. If you guys like this, don't forget the like button. And if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. It's always very much appreciated. And if you're brand new to the channel, welcome to it. And uh, chill out in the comment fields. You'll see some really cool people. And I'll... Uh, one second. One second. I thought I heard. No, it's just my imagination. I thought I heard somebody. All right, yeah, that's it. All right, thank you so much, guys, for being here again. I really do appreciate this. Yes, you came, Mitch. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.